wooden Dutch shoes. And look at the little girls. They're, I mean, look at the face. Look at her face. She's like got pouty face. Yeah, look at the oh, he's face. got pouty face too. He's got a little side eye going there. Yes. literally could have walked over to this thrift store from the Goodwill. This is the Boys and Girls Boys and Girls Clubs thrift store. I've been to this one before. I don't remember how good it is, but we're going to find out. So, we're going to head in there and I have met up with one of my viewers, also one of my uh, moderators in the channel, so we're having a fun girls day of shopping as well. So, Gonna help her find some goodies and I'm gonna find some goodies and we're gonna see what we can find. Jordan's still in work mode so uh, probably won't see too much of her on this video but uh, she's here with me. She'll get into the swing of it soon. All right with that we're gonna head in see what we can find. Let's get shop done. All right let's head in. Oh they do have baskets. Baskets good. We have a case here in the front. They got an 1890 <laughs> Holman Bible for $90. That's pretty cool. Harvard Classics, 22 of them for $100. Oh, those are really pretty. Oh, paperweights. All right, let's move it. I don't even know if you can see that because that glare is a little too bad. That's a really cool Harley Davidson backpack right there for $25. Oh, that's heavy too. Heavy, and I only have one hand. Oop, dropping. Let's get you back up there. I might look up and see what that might be going for, but we'll come back to it. And yeah, if somebody grabs it, they do. Oh yeah, all their stuff is right here on top. That makes it really nice to shop actually makes it really nice to shop. Oh goodness, look at all the Garfield. I've never really been like a heavy Garfield fan. I guess, you know, there are some that kind of die hard Garfield fans, just not me. Oh, this is a Rhythm Quartz made in Japan. I bet all of that little stuff moves when this thing goes off. Huh. It's very, very cheaply made though. It's only $4, which is a good price. Oh, somebody put a Bradley doll in a terrarium. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Okay. Got lamps. Little cherub guy. He's kind of cute. Oops, he's coming off of his... He is very vintage. It's $4. Goodness. I think I have shades too that would fit. I just don't know how much that being so loose is gonna affect his value, but it it could, and so I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave him for somebody else who has more time to deal with them. And see what else we can find. I don't see. Too much exciting here, but you never know what gets mixed in with stuff. So we look at everything. Oh, those are glass. Little little shell seafood serving dishes. Let's kind of look and see. Luminescence candle holders. Nice little clear glass. Gotta look and see if there's any names. Okay, I see these everywhere now. Art. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. I feel like it takes me finding that first kind of exciting thing 
to really get into the groove at a store. Anybody else feel like that too? Like, you know, everything's just kind of meh until you find that first item that kind of sparks joy. I mean, you know, these are cute, but it's, it's not like super old or anything. I need that just really special thing. And then the brain kind of kicks in. I guess there is like a chemical reaction to it. When you uh, get that little excitement rush. Maybe that's why this is so addicting. <laughs> I only say that half jokingly. All right. I really wish it was pumpkin season because that's a super cute pillow for $2. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm not going to get it. Lots of cute little fall pillows. And now with my couch and the pillows, I could like do seasonal things, which will be fun. Oh, that's a nice little marble top table for $25. Don't think it. I think it's made to look old but it's not yeah and you can tell by the materials used it's got a press board so this is probably like a 1970s reproduction had this been a truly old piece i might have picked it up for 25 but it's also got some damage here it's not constructed as good as a piece from like the early 1900s would have been constructed all right it looks like we are heading for bunny season and they've got all their bunnies over here I do like this one. It's made out of a little flower pot. Oh man, that's really cute. A little homemade piece. I think Carrie's wearing off on me. The little pieces with a story. That's a duck in a bunny suit. Oh, he's, he's got a name. Let's see, who are you? You are Samantha of Ducks and Friends. Ceramic collectible, just ducky, 1980. For three dollars. Oh, well, you know what? Since you're so special, maybe we do need to get you. And then I'm gonna look at this little nest guy here. Oh, that was made by Nancy in 1991. I do kind of like it. You know, I got the bird theme going. It's only two dollars. I have some little eggs I can put in that too. I think I'm gonna get that. Okay, I just like, I looked at these several times not even realizing these are Bunnies by the Bay. Uh, this is Glee Treetop. And who are you? You are Miss Winter Wonder. Five dollars each. Those are coming home with me. Okay, so Raylene brought me over some goodies. I cannot make out the signature on that, but it looks Italian. Calta Japone? <laughs> I mean, that's as close as I can get. I'm not even going to attempt that first name. But it's a cute little hand painted base for $4. This one's beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful. Yeah. I, I, the weight on it? Yeah, that's yeah. um, that's Tanala. And I love the glaze. For $5. On it. And somebody put felt over the yeah. bottom. So we might peel that felt when we get home. Oh, and there's the bird. Ooh, that's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, nice piece for five <laughs> bucks. So yeah, that's awesome. Indeed. And then these are pretty incredible little German, no, Dutch, because they're wearing the little wooden Dutch shoes. And look at the little girls. They're, I mean, look at the face. Look at her face. She's like got pouty face. I love the oh, he's face. got pouty face. So he's got a little side eye going there. Yes, and yeah. And then they're Gretel by Kalbach and oh it's Hansel it's Hansel, Hansel and Gretel. Gretel that's why they're worth so much oh that's awesome I love these um chalkboards when they used to go to school yeah isn't that gorgeous and he's like I'm not going to school right what does he have in his hand uh, something <laughs> <laughs> all of their yellow tags are half price so we're taking a peek Come on, have, have every one of us played this game? It was one of my favorites. I actually still like Hi-Ho Cherry-O. Mm. Popcorn.
unicorn coasters from Michaels. These are cute. All right. I see something that's got some really cool retro colors, but it's plastic, so it's actually not. Um, I mean, not that plastic makes it not retro. It's just that once I got my hands on it, I could tell it was not. Sometimes I have to clarify these things because things go through my brain and they don't quite come out my mouth correctly. Mommy, mom, mom, mommy, mom, 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 mommy, mom, mom. Who can't relate to that now? That's, that's awesome. <gasps> I'm knocking things over. That is an Ann Tainter. Ann Tainters can, can be pretty good. I'm kind of loving this. I kind of need this for $4. All right, let's look through. Kind of the household goods here. Let's see if there's anything exciting. Well, let's see anything too exciting. Mugs. Oh, I do like these mugs up here. Let's see who makes these. These are. That one's not marked. That one's not marked. That one's not marked. Hmm, and there's only three. I wish there was four of them, but I'm gonna leave them. We got some Jack Daniel playing cards. Oh, which ones are the, oh. You yell four and they duck behind you. <laughs> oh, they're golf audibles playing cards. Let's see. A nice little apothecary style jar. This looks like a piece of recycled glass. I can't... No, it's not cracked. That's the way it's made. It's pretty. It's nice, but I can find this back in my own stores, so I'm not going to pick that up. Oh, you know what? I have sold some of these painted plates before. Boonton. Made in... Made in... Boonton, USA. So the plate itself is vintage. Oh yeah, this was painted in 1974 by Mertens. Those are kind of cool for $2 each. I'm going to grab them. The thing about little independent thrift stores like this is their pricing is generally so good. I'm going to take a peek at this set. It looks like they are paper placemats and paper napkins and their kachinas. Those are so vintage. Monogram of California San Francisco Patio Ensemble. There's 20 napkins and 20 placemats and they're asking three dollars and I am going to take those home. Then I spotted this little guy. This The shape is known as a rose bowl, a footed rose bowl with silver I don't know if you'd call this inlay or overlay, um, but usually that is real silver. It is $5 for this little piece, so I think I'm gonna grab that one too. I was going by the bookshelves here, and this book just kind of caught my eye. It's a 1973 Veterinarian's Product and Therapeutic Reference. I don't know, uh, the price is right, let's see. Their books are five books for a dollar or a dollar if you just buy one. So I could find four more books and pay the same dollar. Uh, so I might look through a little bit more, but uh, as my friend Jeffrey Clark, the Sorcerer's Apprentice always says, those kind of weird, interesting, kind of boring sometimes titles can be some really good sleeper sellers in the books. All right, let's see. We're back in their decorative top of the shelf stuff seeing if anything kind of stands out. These are really cute. Little sunflower planters. They're not worth a whole bunch. They're just cute. You know, like these guys. And not finding a whole lot, but they have lots of rows of all this stuff. Milk bottles, tea light holder. Those are kind of fun. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. 
swinging over to the other side. Got a little luster teacup mark Japan. Nice footed teacup. And kind of a crazy hobbyist poodle there. Let's see who this little girl is. She's painted really nicely. She's a music box. But we don't know who made her. She's in really good shape, but oh no, she's got a big crack right there. Darn it. See what's on this side. Ooh, a frisbee that your dog cannot eat. I wonder if Jordan saw that. I'm gonna get that for my grand dog. I think it's better on their teeth than a hard frisbee that they can hurt their teeth on. Still don't know about these Garfields. Who makes them? They're made by the Danbury Mint. I might give those a look up just to make sure. Oh, he's cute. Oh, is he riding a turtle? He is riding a turtle. Now, see, I can't condone this. I cannot condone anybody riding a turtle. It's not good for them. Don't do that, Mr. Elf. See this cool fish guy here in the cattails. He's a Rainbow Rising by Franz Dutzler. I actually think these are good, um, but I don't know. He just doesn't excite me a whole lot, and the, the, the cattails are really chintzy. I just, you know, felt them because they fell out, so I'm going to leave that one. And again, I just, I don't really want to ship this Hazy Ascent by David Moss. Moss might be really good, but it's okay. I can leave stuff for somebody else to find. I'm really looking for the stuff that excites me to sell. You know, like maybe dolphin bookends, which no, they're not, they're not good enough quality, but I was thinking Rachel would really love those, but Rachel has no place for those. So I'm not going to contribute to that. See you. Kind of that Scirocco wood bird. These are usually in, yep, Roman numerals, copyright 1967, I think. I think. Something like that. <laughs> Close enough. Resin. And not real good quality resin. Just iffy resin. Okay, I gotta go find what I did with my cart. I left it around here somewhere. There it is. We have rescued our cart. All right, let's go check out. So I found a few cute things in there. Bunnies by the bay. Never find those anywhere in the Goodwills anymore. So I found two of them in the same store for a really good price. Uh, so I'm quite pleased. I spent $50 even, $50 even in this store. Now I am going to head over to a store that is just down the street and I'm going to keep that on this video and then I'm going to combine the recap at the end. So stay tuned for that, but let's head over to another store. Okay, little change of plans. Uh, just found this really cute little antique mall. I mean, I don't know how big it is. It's not very big, but it's uh it's a voted number one antique cottage best shop hey there we go we're gonna go in and kind of see what we can find in here this could be fun let's go get shop done okay so she says there are 13 vendors here at the antique cottage so we're gonna look around and see what cool stuff we can find oh there's those glass, you know, I almost bought one of these the other day just because I'm still, I'm still waiting on the one that I ordered from Hadley. They are just taking their sweet time. I need to contact them. That is on my list of things to do to complete this week is to contact Hadley and find out where is my butter dish that I ordered because it's now been almost seven weeks and they said give it six to eight weeks, but I haven't even had like an update that it's shipped yet. So I'm getting a little nervous. And here we go. Oh, this is a cool piece with that, with the enameling on it. That's really cool. 
Who makes that? It's a California cloisonne. California cloisonne. And, oh, look, the inside of the bowl has that same stuff. It's 35. I may, I might look that one up. And we've got the weeping gold. Very neat. Let's see. I'm wanting to sing along with the uh, music that's playing in the background, and I can't. I can't, because that doesn't work for making video. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's just some classic. This is a uh, slag glass little vase. Oh, it's got a name on it. Who makes you? New York City. Um... Vogue, Merca, I can't, Manufacturing, I think it says Vogue Manufacturing, I don't, oh, and look, it, it is just not focusing all that time, because I was trying to look at the piece and not look through my viewfinder, but yeah, I can't figure out, I can't figure out what that says, neat little piece though. Got some ruby red. Lots of little bottles. I'm gonna try really hard to find something here. Like that Washington whale decanter, he's cool. Maybe I can find something cool for Noah's room that I'm not gonna resell and I can pay a little bit higher price. We'll try that. Let's see what we got over on this side. That looks like a Mickey Mouse hand business card holder or some kind of a sign holder. Let's see if I can find a turtle in here. Ooh, that's a scorpion. Ooh, <laughs> I don't think I like it. Oh, look at the lady milking the goat. Oh, that sun is shining. Let me get it where you can see it. Oh, it's wood. It's kind of like an Henri. It might be an Henri. I bet you it is. And they are asking $39, so I bet they know it is. That's a really interesting piece. You don't see goats in a lot of stuff. I collected goats for a while, so I know that goats are a little bit scarce, unlike mama and piggies. That looks like a, a hobbyist ceramic. All right. Chalkware, little chalkware girl. All right, looks like kitcheny stuff in this one. There's the entire Pyrex rainbow set. Actually, I think there's one more to that set. Isn't it five? I could be wrong. Maybe it is four. Maybe it is four. Oh, look at the little ephemera advertising pieces. Those are fun. She's had her head a little bent, which kind of to be expected for this. This stuff was never meant to last for very long. Those are really cool. Very, very cool. Jadeite. Lots of jadeite. Look at this piece. Get a grip, you can do it. I think that is not very old. Rosie the Riveter is quite a popular character. Finding original stuff with her would be really cool though. Is this the Last Supper? It is. It's the Last Supper, all stitched on this little towel. Does that really say $1.50? Oh, I think I might have to have the Last Supper for $1.50. This little chalkware sailor is pretty sweet. 1937 Carnival Chalk Sailor Boy. That's awesome. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta search a little harder to find the, the resale treasures in an antique store, but it's not impossible. That looks like a Maxfield Parish. 
it's of that style anyway. Let's look over here. Oh, we got some beautiful carnival glass. We got some depression glass. Ooh, that is a really neat vase. Look at that. Rocky Brown Studio Pottery. I think that's what the... I know the glare on that tag. Can't read it. That's what it says. That's a neat, neat piece. I'm still looking... Some people call it a ricer, some people call it a potato masher, but I am still looking for that piece. Oh, look at the bird food little jar. The bird food jar. Oh, I wish that wasn't torn right there. Hmm. Hmm. I bet you Rachel would like this. She's buying glass jars to keep bird food treats in, although. If she'd had to clean it, it would be tough because of the paper. So maybe that just needs to go in our little bird cabinet. Oh, I see. Look, it has a big owl. That's a big owl from the Country Bear Jamboree at Disneyland, which is no longer there. What is he? He's $32. Is he a bank? He is. Is he a bank or is he just a figurine? Oh, no, he's a bank. He just all had that. That brings back memories right there. It was one of my favorite things at Disneyland. And then there's the whole Noah's Ark precious moments. That's very cool too. We got baskets. So much stuff. We don't have a lot of time. I'm going a little quick through here because we just don't have a lot of time. Now these look like the Shawnee creamer and sugar that I just sold too. Only these are cows and those were pigs, but it's that same, same era, same style. Yeah, they didn't identify them, but they're $34, so we can't get those, but that's interesting. Okay. Cool. Oh, I can tell. Jordan was here because she turned the hourglass over. And that's only recently been done. So she's here somewhere. Oh, look at that bird. What are you, little bird behind here? You're, oh, your cookie jar. It's a parrot cookie jar. He's 40. Oh, I kind of love him. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, I got to think about him. I, I do love him. Oh, are they having a 20% off sale? Oh, that might, that might seal the deal for me. I'll have to ask. That's a Vaseline glass, kind of footed compote, $55, not a bad price. Oh, there's my little friends, little bluebirds of happiness. You know, I will be snagging every single one of those. Let's see, $12, I'm imagining that one's $12. That one says as is, so we'll take a peek, but I think all of those are going home with me. That's a fun little copper sculpture. The siesta. And then we've got some Painted ponies. Lots of Native American stuff. We are in a border state. Okay. All right. Oh, this is a really pretty little set. Look at that. All the enamel bowls. I just don't want to ship that all together. It's hard to go through a place like this quickly, but we're managing. Look at these Looney Tune glasses. They're happy birthday bugs, 50th anniversary. 
And then they've got all the characters, $50 for the set of six. That seems like a really good price. Are you guys? What are you made of? Oh, your wood. Your little wood. $14 for the pair? Okay, we'll get you. All right, let's see. Anything else? Oh, that's a fun little spice set. I had a larger one than that down at the booth, and it took a really long time to sell. Look at the little mouse shakers. Oh, vintage Valentines. These are the Van Tellington shakers, I do believe. I got birds in my hand. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta put my birds down here. So I'm get back up here and see who done these. No, these are just Japan. I don't think they are the Van Tellington ones. The Van Tellington ones are heavier. These are lighter weight. I am going to kind of peek through the Valentines since I got my hand free for the moment. Boy, do these things bring back memories. Ugh. They just don't do them like that anymore. Oh, that's a sweet little wall pocket guy. Oh, he's only $8. Made in Japan. And it's impressed in there as well as stamped on there. Patent number. Okay. That one's coming with us too. Okie dokie. Now I got my hand full again. So, oh, Lucite coasters. Fun frog pitcher up there. I like him. Chickens. Oh, I see something else with birds on it. Oh, those are fun canisters. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I'm ending up with those. And lots of Native American stuff. And then some more salt and peppers. Oh, there's my corn. That looks like the Shawnee, too. That looks like... Let's see. I can't... Okay, I gotta go free my hands. All right, I'm back to take a closer look at the corn set here. It's it's marked on the... Hold on. Set you shakers over here. See the little dish. Salt and pepper with tray. So it's not marked Shawnee. I'm pretty sure that's Shawnee, though. So I may take a peek at how much that is going for. Yeah, they're not marked, but boy, they sure look like the Shawnee. Okay, I don't know why I was thinking these were Shawnee. No, it's the wrong color for Shawnee. Shawnee is very yellow. I don't know who did these. I think the Shawnee is also marked, so my bad. They are not. Right. Okie dokie. Gotta look in all these little cases where the goodies might be. Hummels. My grandmother collected lots and lots of Hummels. Hello. Some enamelware. Okay. It's so different than the stuff that we find in Las Vegas. Just kind of a totally different vibe out here. Look, two sets of the rainbow Pyrex in the same store. And there's the green ones. You don't see the green ones together very often. Oh, look at this really cool chip and dip serving piece. Love that. There's just all these little nooks and each one is a different vendor here, which is cool. I gotta take a peek at these. $10 for the, the pairs of glasses with the leather holders. I love those. I'm grabbing those. Okay. All right. I am looking for more bluebirds. Always looking for more bluebirds. And we're on to another little booth here. 
I'm really resisting buying Rachel any more little trinkets until she finishes organizing what she's already got. She's been a little behind and getting stuff moved into her cabinet and such. I know I see the turtles. I don't need them. I don't need them. I just picked up this guy. Remember? I just picked up this guy at the swap meet. If you saw that video, I got him for $20. So I did good paying two for mine. All right. I just talked about this Jack Black. But this is the Celestial Earth Art. Okay, it's, this is not Jack Black either. So it's in that same style. That's very interesting. I thought for sure I'd found it to show you. But I didn't. It's Celestial Earth Art, which I found before, which can be good as well. But the Jack Black goes for uh, just amazing amounts of money. Oh, little cut to clear. What? $9 for a Bohemian cut to clear bowl? Oh, and there's two of them. Let me see. Get back here to this one. Look at that beautiful color. These are just $9 each. I'm going to grab those. Look at this awesome orange crackle glass vase. Very mid-century. Probably, probably, probably made by either Rainbow or Kanawa or one of those companies. They all kind of made the same things back then. Those are not glass. I do like the little glass hippo too. I wonder what he was used for. Hippo can't. Oh, he was a candy container. Oh, he was a candy container. That's fun. Got more jadeite, a little uranium glass. Look at these onyx animals. Those are kind of beautiful. So much stuff. It's so hard to like, you know, pick and choose things, but you gotta be a little picky. Twenty-four. It's a good price. I think this is my last little booth to go through here before we check out. Oh, and look what I found. Found another little bluebird. Uh-oh. This one. What is wrong with his little beak? He was not made very well. He's also not signed, so I think I'm gonna leave him. I know, I'm like I'm like the rescuer. I actually feel guilty leaving one behind. But he's in an antique store, so he's he's not in danger of, you know, going in the trash or anything. Something company. Hmm. 1979. She's cute. Oh. Don't lose your price tag. These look very 1950s. These are only $6 each, so I'm going to grab those as well. All right, one last little chance here. Oh, I do see some cute little birds there that I'm going to come back when my hands are free. I'm still holding these guys. So I'll come back, take a second look at those. But I think we're about done here. All right, let's take a little bit closer look at these guys with the little, I'm not exactly sure what their purpose is. They just kind of, they sit on a little perch. They're not salt and peppers. I am intrigued by them and they're 875. So I think I have to get them and figure them out.
was a fun little stop. Didn't I, I could, I'm gonna confess, I get bored inside of antique malls normally. So this was just the right size for me to shop. Um, because the thing about antique malls is the things have already been curated, picked somewhere else out of the, the wild, which, you know, the thrift stores. Uh, so it's not as great of a treasure hunt. So I have to find like really exciting things to get me going in an antique mall. Uh, but I'm very, very happy with all of the things I bought here and the prices that I paid and um, super excited always to find bluebirds of happiness because I know my viewers in my live sales love those so much. So that way I can get more happiness to more homes. Uh, so we got a few of those. Jordan didn't buy anything. Why are you shocked? Why is that shocking to you? I think they've seen previous videos of me shopping with you, Jordan. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trust me, she'll find she'll find plenty before she goes home. She's just being very, very frugal, not so much the money thing, but with the space thing, uh, because she is now very aware of how many things she can have in her new little home. So it's good. Like discipline is good. It's a good thing. Hydration is good. Rub a little of that off. She wants hydration. I mean, she's like, she's like, she's dry. She's like dehydrated. She's a little, she's a little cranky. You are a little, you are a little cranky. Uh, they're going to say it in the comments too, yeah. that you're acting just a little cranky. I thought I was disciplined. You will discipline. Am I disciplined or am I cranky? Make up your mind. You can be both. I can't be both. You can. I can only be one at a time. Can she be both? You guys tell us. All right. We're going to head and go get some lunch and then we're going to head down the street to another thrift store. Uh, but you will see that on the next video. So make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that little bell notification for when that video comes out. So until then, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.